another episode in the Building Bossa Baselines series. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the Antonio Carlos Jobim tune, My Little Boat. The chord progression is somewhat unstandard, which allows for creative and interesting bass lines. Let's take a look at the form. My Little Boat has a 16 bar repeating form. Starting in the home key of B flat major, we cycle through two additional key centers, A flat major and G flat major, before returning to the home key of B flat major with the help of a 3-6-2-5 chord progression. What's interesting about the progression is the way in which each new key center is established. E minor 7 to A7 is typically followed by a D major 7 chord. Well, here the A7 chord is resolving down a semitone to A flat major 7 instead. We've discussed this alternate resolution of the dominant 7th in previous lessons. This is a somewhat unusual case, but nevertheless a valid one from a theoretical point of view. We see the exact same resolution again for the G flat major 7 chord. The 3625 turnaround features flat 9 tensions on the dominant 7th chords. These are included as the flat 9 is also played in the melody. When working on your bass lines, try to use these flat 9s. Having said this, if you're playing this song on a gig, when the melody is being played, just play the root notes. The flat 9 in the melody is such a lovely sound, so let it be heard. We're going to start with the roots and fifths of each chord. This is the cleanest way to outline the chord changes of any chord progression. Be sure to download the PDF printouts and accompanying backing track for this lesson from jaredplane.com. The links can be found in the description. Next we'll add in some rhythm. No matter what chord progression you're playing, you should always lay a simple foundation and gradually build on top of it. For Latin or bossa style bass playing, this is usually the roots and fifths. From there we can add in other musical elements to make our lines more interesting. Exercise 3 will incorporate the complete arpeggio of each chord in the progression. 
You don't need to add in every chord tone all of the time. Just put them in whenever you can. There are of course many more tools and techniques that we can use, but that should keep you busy for the moment. And remember to write out some of your own lines as well. Come up with your own ideas and try to incorporate them into a bass line. These exercises are just examples. Expand upon them to come up with your own unique voice on the bass. That's all we have time for in this lesson. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, as always, please feel free to leave me a comment. And don't forget to visit jaredplane.com to pick up your copy of the backing track and PDF printouts. If you enjoyed this lesson, please consider making a donation to my GoFundMe page. And until the next lesson, take care.